Tesla is going to directly and indirectly employ around 100,000 people in the state of Texas. It's investing billions of dollars into the state. And now Texas said, thank you, thank you very much, and screw you. You aren't eligible for our EV rebates. And guess what? Everyone else is, including cars from Korea, Japan, China, and Europe. What a bizarre scenario. Texas, if you, Texas people, if you live in Texas, you've got to fight this. This is just ludicrous. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. Now, Zachary Strahan from Clean Technica has just reported that Texas has repaid Tesla, excluding it from EV rebates. As many of you know, right? Or don't know. I'm sure some of you don't know this. You can't buy a Tesla in Texas. Yeah. Tesla has just built one of the world's biggest car factories in the state. But you can't buy a Tesla vehicle in Texas, period. You have to actually go... <laughs> You have to, you can order online, you can go and pick it up from another state and then you can drive it back into Texas if you fill out some special paperwork and stuff, right? But you actually can't buy a Tesla made in Texas, period, unless you go to another state, which is insane. I thought, I thought personally, I thought, well, for Tesla to agree to build this Gigafactory in Texas, then there was something going on where they would remove this rule and change it so that people could actually buy a Tesla vehicle in Texas. But even then, people were like, well, it doesn't matter. You know, it's not a big deal. Now it is. And this is why. The Texas Light Duty Motor Vehicle Purchase or Lease Incentive Program provides rebates statewide to persons who purchase or lease an eligible new light duty motor vehicle powered by compressed natural gas, CNG, liquefied petroleum gas, LPG. I didn't know you guys had those in America, but anyway or hydrogen fuel cell or other electric drive plug-in or plug-in hybrid. Now, Zachary says that sounds great. I don't think it does. It sounds idiotic. Like, why are they incentivizing people to buy liquid natural gas vehicles in the US or to convert their cars to burning that stuff? That's like 1985. I mean, that's like Outback Australia boganism to its truest sense. I can't understand that. But anyway, yes, I agree with you, Zachary. It is good that they're incentivizing EVs plug-in hybrids, whatever, you know. But EVs, yeah, that's great. However, they excluded Tesla by carefully wording this new scenario. If you go to the eligible vehicles list, you can see that not a single Tesla vehicle is on there. There's cars from Germany. There's cars from Korea, South Korea. There's cars from Japan. There's cars even from the UK. Well, not kind of. I mean, Jaguar's technically a UK brand, but it's not owned by them anymore. And then, of course, there's the Ford Mustang. So what are the list of cars? Well, you can see on there the ID4, Volkswagen ID4, the e-Golf, the Porsche Taycan, the Nissan Leaf, the Kia Niro EV, Hyundai Kona EV, Hyundai EV6, Jaguar I-Pace, Ford Mustang Mach-E, and incredibly, even the Dodge Ram 2500. What? How is that on there? I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, my point is, most of those brands are not American, right? So Americans, really, the Texas state itself is funneling money back into where? It's funneling, it's basically sending money to Korea. It's sending money to Europe. It's, it's sending money to uh, places outside of the US. Now, sure, I don't know if some, some of these are made in America, some aren't. It doesn't really make, it doesn't, it's not really the point, is it? Because who, who are the parent companies? Who make the profit? Where does the profit go to? Profit goes back to that country. So this ridiculous, right? This it's so insane. It's mind blowing. Sorry, but you know, a lot of people say Americans are stupid and I'm always like, no, no, they're not. They're not. Stop saying that. But in this case, my goodness, this is the height of stupidity. Like you have a car factory, a just built car factory, going to provide you with 100,000 indirect, 20,000 direct jobs in your own state. And you're, instead of incentivizing that factory and employees there, you're sending money back to freaking South Korea. That is just like, what? What? You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Now, 
If you look through the eligibility requirements, it's not immediately clear why Tesla vehicles aren't included, but it actually is pretty obvious why they aren't. I should point out though, there isn't a thou shalt not be a Tesla clause, as Zachary says. There is no exclusion for vehicles that include beach buggy in the infotainment system. However, the vehicles to qualify for this new incentive must be available for sale or lease in Texas. And as Tesla vehicles aren't technically available for sale or lease in Texas, since no auto dealers in Texas sell new Teslas, that's the only way you're legally allowed to buy a car in the state, meaning that you don't qualify for this new incentive. Now, the crazy thing is that, I mean, Texas markets itself as being the land of the free. You know, it's meant to be the place where you can have any gun you want and, you know, you can just do what you want. You can be free. I kind of like that idea. But this isn't freedom. This is restrictions. This is politicism. This is like backdoor dealing. This is what this is one of the worst things about America. This is, in my view, an egregious mistake on behalf of the Texas Lone Star, whatever they want to call themselves, government. And it seems to me like a political agenda here is at play. Texas isn't really that much of a freedom-loving state after all. They won't even let people buy cars online. I mean, why? What other country in the world doesn't let you buy a car online? Why is that even a big deal? It, 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 doesn't, make, it doesn't make any sense. Now, Clean Technica says this. Texas is a corrupt state in which big money creates laws that let big money use this money to make more money. Or rather, rich auto dealers and auto dealer associations don't want pesky little Tesla disrupting their cushy little market. Oil companies, they don't either. So the question remains, will people who want to buy a Tesla ever be able to just walk into a Tesla store and buy a car, and then benefit from the same EV rebate that other electric car buyers and even CNG vehicle buyers get to bank? Who knows? Texas is a weird place. Zachary says, even Elon Musk seems to have been far too naive and misinformed politically to outfox the auto dealer associations or oil giants. Heck, he didn't even get Texas to allow Tesla sales in the state before committing to building Tesla's biggest factory in the world within its borders. Furthermore, while they may be avoiding income taxes, one day Tesla employees, and perhaps the company itself, will discover that property taxes more than make up for the savings that they actually get there. My thoughts on this are, actually, it doesn't make any difference. Tesla's vehicles are really just that much better than the competition. Structural battery packs, giga castings, 4680 battery cells. Yeah, they are definitely a step ahead of other automakers in America. And it won't matter. But the reality is, it sucks. Not for Tesla itself. I mean, Tesla itself will sell their cars no matter what. They will keep on crushing it. But it sucks for people who live in Texas. That's who this is affecting the most. And that's who politicians are meant to actually care about. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. And have a great day. Bye-bye.